Right in the middle of the Nadang Convention Centre is Intel set up on this massive booth. Let's go and have a look what they've got to show off this year at Computex. Okay, Alan, um, what are we actually looking at here? What are we looking at here on the screen? Yeah, this is the highest resolution in the world. Wow. Yeah, so it's a 56 inches uh, panel with a four times full HD resolution. So the resolution. Four times full HD. Yeah, so the resolution is uh, 3840 by 2160. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, with the, the powerful Intel inside. Okay. Yeah. We can show a very good image and a very good quality uh, graphic inside. So you can see, this is the image from Mars. Yeah, very high resolution pictures. We can see the detail. Maybe some Mars people live in here. We can uh -huh. check. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's one way to look for them, definitely. That picture is just simply amazing. Yeah. What kind of hardware is in there? Yeah, hardware? What kind of hardware? CPU. Yeah, CPU is uh, used uh, the Intel inside, uh, very powerful quad core inside, and uh, with the uh, NVIDIA graphic card. The wow. graphic card is also very expensive, uh, ten thousand US dollar. Ten thousand US dollars for a graphics card? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, what about the display itself? How much is the display set its back? Yeah, the system. The, the actual display. How much did that cost? Ah, I think it's uh, more than thirty. Thousand, more than thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. So you got ten thousand dollar graphics card, a thirty thousand dollar display. Yeah. That's um, one amazing picture, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how long before this type of technology is available for the home user? I think this is just uh, available for this year because of the graphic card. Because for the high resolution, it's very difficult to have uh, some technical bottleneck. Right. Right now, this bottleneck already is solved. So. We can announce this high resolution system for the world. Excellent. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting one of these in my, my home to watch my latest Blu ray movies. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your time there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Phil, what do we got here in, in, on the Intel booth today? Well, today in the booth we have Power Infotainment and uh, ThinkLine and uh, Hyper PC and uh, Computer on the Module. A computer on a module. Yes. Now all this technology that we see in front of us here is based on the atom processors. Oh yes, all of them are based on atom processors. Okay, let's have a look at this uh, car PC that we have here. What can you tell me about it? Okay, the basic car PC. Uh, today our demo just our slideshow, but actually the manufacturer will provide a very user friendly GUI to help the driver to browse to GPS. MP3 or other applications. Wow, so, yeah. so everything in one, one unit. Yes, and you can use your finger, choose any application you want while you are driving. Yeah. Now, what about the computer module? The computer on the module there? Yep, the computer module. Oh, it's, oh, you can see every uh, key component are on one module and uh, they use two connectors to connect to a carrier board can be a one full set computer. Right, and, and how fast is the CPU on that motherboard there? How fast here? Yes. This is uh, a processor and uh, this is a chipset. And what, what speed is the processor? Uh, based on Atom, 1.6 processor. 1.6? Yes. And, that little, and what, what is the actual measurements of that motherboard? How big is it? Oh, this is you can call it a multiple, multiple, but actually he needs a carrier board to run a sun Okay, okay, fair enough. Yes. And now what about the uh, the UMPCs or, or tablet PCs that we have okay. here? Okay. Yeah. This is the tablet PCs. Sometimes it looks like a UMPC, but the difference between UMPC and the tablet PC here because they are they follow many industry spec. For instance, this is waterproof and uh, you can some do, yeah you can drop it. The shock proof. Yeah, this is the difference between UMPC and uh, industry tablet PC. Right. Yeah. And uh, are these products available on the market now? And so far, they are proper prototypes. Uh, and for details, I think you can contact the company respectively. Thank yeah. you, Lord. thank you very much for your time, there, Phil. Okay. You soon. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, uh, Ben, what have we got uh, here on our computer monitor? 
Uh, so right here we're looking at our new Tylersburg EP platform uh, using the Nehalem architecture processor. Um, as you can see, we got 16 threads running. They're all pegged out. Um, the software here is some medical imaging software that's taking full advantage of all 16 threads. Um, and it's using some of our new instructions sets, such as the SSD 4.2 instruction set. Wow. So um, right now it's compiling uh, images from a um, computed tomography brain scan. Okay. And uh, it puts it together into about a 10 second little video clip that shows uh, the blood through the brain. Wow. And as you can see there, most of the cores are actually being fairly well utilized, aren't they? Yeah. So yep. yeah, it's definitely, the software is definitely optimized for the processor. Exactly, exactly. Now, um, this isn't really mainstream type computer, is it? computing, is it? It's um, more designed for industry and corporate. Exactly, exactly. This is this is more of a server you'd find probably in a in a data center. This 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 is an app used uh, for high performance computing. You'd have this spread over a workload. Um, this is. A, this application itself actually is run from a workstation, uh -huh. but the data that it's using is compiled on a back-end right. stack of servers. Okay, excellent. And uh, what's the rough cost of a system like this? Any idea? It, way beyond the, the average uh, price tag? Uh, for an unreleased product, I have no idea how much this is going to cost. This is this will be released later on. It's not okay. currently available. So, any any rough estimate on the release date? No. No, not as yet? Not okay. as yet. Thanks a lot for your time yeah. there, Ben. Thanks. Talk to you next time. All right. Cheers. So, that's a brief look at Intel 2008. The Atom processor stuff isn't on their booth as yet, or most of it isn't. Apparently, they're doing the keynote later on this afternoon. So, we might have to come back tomorrow and have a bit more of a look at that.